All right, hi everybody, it's me again, Bonkai922, final chapter of you pretty much, just where the JoJo left. Akame, Gakiru, Gakil, chapter 57. This chapter was ridiculous. Now, During this chapter review, I might start talking about another character from another series, which I think everybody knows about. I say Berserk because what we found out about Tatsumi in this chapter. Now, obviously, you can't compare Guts and Tatsumi. That's like comparing apples and oranges and night and day. But... What we found out about Tatsumi in this chapter, when it concerned Incursio, is somewhat, somewhat similar to the Berserker armor in Berserk with Guts. The only difference is, is that, at least this is from my observations, Incursio is an actual living thing, and the Berserker armor is just the Berserker armor, and that creature thing is, I guess, it does the same. Uh, take that. But anyway, a lot of ha a lot of shit happened in this chapter. This was called Kill the Alchemist. We find out, obviously, okay, mine, she, she, she's comatose. Um, what was interesting to note about what really has occurred as far as Tatsumi is concerned, he's all business. Literally. He has never since been back from that whole ordeal smiled once. At all. And uh, Akame realizes this. It was shown in the chapter when she was talking to Leone. There was there, there were a lot of interesting things in this chapter. There was Najinda. She had a moment for Le. I'm calling him Bac. I'm not even gonna say it. Lebac, Ramac, whatever. Um, had a moment for him, and like she, she had his his you know thing he wore on his head, close to her, so she has a part of him, I guess. There was that. Then. There was this part with Esdith. Now, I will give her this. She's got some strong standards. After everything that has happened, she still loves Tatsumi. <laughs> and, like, and her opinion on it is the same with Kurobe and her sister. Like, oh, if we kill them, good. If they kill us, yeah. Either way. So that was that there. That was shown. Um, the other thing was, obviously, it says kill the alchemist. Um, that vampire alchemist, yeah, she's still alive. And the other one. There's not really that many people left in the capital that are high-powered. You got Esdith, you got Wave, you got Karome. Aside from those people, who do you have? The Alchemist from Wild Hunt, the Samurai from Wild Hunt. That's about it. This is skipping a bit. That's all you have. That is literally is all you have who is left over. And this creature that she created. That looks like a spider thing. I don't know. That, that she's going to use to attack people. The rebels. Now. Th the main thing though. Was what we found out about. Incursio. If Tatsumi continues to use Incursio. There is a possibility. Or a strong possibility. According to this doctor in this chapter. That Incursio will take over him and he will die. So here's how you look at Tatsumi right now. 
He's worried about mine. Ah, uh, he. The whole thing with Lebok is still on his mind. Um. We have that. We have the the whole defeating them and this this. And now we have Incursio on his mind as well. If he uses Incursio like he used against Ezdeth more than three or four times, he will die. Now, you, th th that's why I bring up Berserk. Because that's the only other character I could think of at the moment that would be wearing, but that, that puts on armor. And it, like, you know, really hurts them if they keep using it constantly. It gets to them. Different take. Now, the only difference here is with the Berserker armor, it heals Guts' his wounds, but also harms him. With Incursio, it's a fucking living thing inside. And if it continues in this, you know, outcome, <clears throat> Patsumi will die. I mean, you see his eye. That eye is an indication that Incursio is taking over his body. That's a no-no. That's a big no-no. Now, I suppose the the catch-22 here is he can always somehow overpower Incursio. That's possible. But we don't know that. This is pretty grim. There were a lot of instances in this chapter where I want to say, yes, uh, Death Flag here. Okay, we got Death Flag here. We have another Death Flag over here, over here, over here. So many Death Flags. First of all, you got an agenda. That, 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 that's, uh, that's Death Flag right there. Then you got Tatsumi. Pfft, come on. You know, it's, it's, it's a continuous flow. Now, Overall rating, definitely give us a 5 out of 5. I mean, so much information shown, explanation-wise, about Incursio. <coughs> What's going to go down with Tatsumi? And so much interaction with him and mine, and Leone, and Akame, and Ezdith, all that jazz. All that jazz. But now, and then obviously the end of the chapter, we have the alchemist, and she's on the move, essentially, by creating this thing that she created in the lab. That's she's going to fight the rebels with. Them. Now, I mean, it's it's very, very, very difficult to figure out specifically how I see this going down. Now, first of all, let's 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 be very blunt here. Tatsumi is not the main character of this show. He's not. He's not. So he isn't. He's not the main character. The main character of a comic got killed. He's guess who? A comic. It's pretty obvious. Now, but there are instances in sh other shows. I don't want to mention this show. In case you wonder why I said I said fairy tale, you know Natsu and Lucy. I don't know if this is in the same way with Tatsumi and Akame, but and that's basically what happened. And and the other explanation that I thought was interesting was it was was how um what's his face? I forgot his name. Not Rabak. Um, the one who had Incursio before Tatsumi. I'm sorry, I'm bad with names. But he, the reason why this didn't happen to him is because he used Incursio in a different way. And I guess you could say he wasn't relying it all the time. But with Tatsumi, it evolved to this point. And now... There's a strong possibility it could take him over him and kill him. 
And the thing is, they need Thompson because he's probably the only person who can go toe to toe with Esther. Because the whole thing with the Curcio evolving, um, learning as this freeze time, gaining an invulnerability against it. So that's why they need Tatsumi. I, I, listen, I know you don't want to mention the anime. Oh no, let's not mention that. But. I, listen, I, I still haven't seen the other episodes of the anime because I know it's it's filler and I'm, but the final episode is supposed to be good. But in that anime, supposedly Tatsumi dies. Now here, mine's in a coma. If Tatsumi dies in his final outcome, final battle against the capital, it depends how he dies though. If he does, if he's dead, sorry, if he dies because of the armor, okay, okay, but if he dies for another reason, we'll see how this goes down. I, I was very impressed with this chapter, um, found out about Curcio, it's, it's fucking up Tatsum's body, he's gonna... It's gonna eat. It's gonna devour him. That's what's gonna happen. And even if it doesn't devour him, he somehow survives. What will he be like? You don't know what he'll be like. He could be fucking possessed. He'll be like a fucking dragon beast shit. You know. So a lot of looming things in the horizon for a Kamigakiru kill. And I really felt for a Kame. Like she says, it's so quiet now. The hideout, it's not it's not the same like it used to be. It's really sad. All these people died who were part of Night Raid and now all you have left who are able to fight at all is Tatsumi, Akame, Leone, and um Agenda. And even agenda is not. You know? So. It's fucking Thanksgiving. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. That's as simple as that. We'll see what happens. Bonkai 922. This was a crazy chapter of Kamiga Kiru. Tatsumi Man. Wow. Curcio is taking over. Shit. I'll see you guys later. Peace.